We're going to have a look at the alias Inventor Interoperability. Take a look at how we can take these surfaces out of alias into Inventor. Build on them with some ribs and strengthening and then make changes to the surface and have them update in, in Inventor. So we're just going to pull in the alias wire file into Inventor and then we're going to build up some uh, some ribs on that as um, strengthening. You can see here we're using the derived part workflow in it to bring the alias file in and in we can have a look at all the different surfaces, make selections of whether we want them to be updated or not um, to bring the surfaces in. And we've just gone through the, the tree and just dragged down to the bottom of the part to rebuild what we'd already had for the strengthening ribs. So you can see that works with the actual surface of alias. Now we're going back into alias and we're just going to modify the surfaces of this hull of this boat and save that file over the existing file that is already there. So now that we've saved over the existing file what we can do is go back into inventor and rebuild the structure that was already there. And you'll see in a second or two that um, the structure updates fully with the, the surface changes that we've made. You can see there the structure changed to accom accommodate the changes in alias. And we'll just go back and forward a couple of times in the, with the undo so you can see from different angles um, those updates.